The election is big news all over the world, especially in Russia. In Moscow, Elizabeth Palmer found who Russia's president is supporting. No one in today's Kremlin-sponsored rally celebrating Russian unity can vote in the U.S. election, of course. But if they could, they've picked their candidate. Я за Трампа. Ну пусть будет Трамп. For the past few months, Russians have been fed the Kremlin's message through mass media, and that is Hillary Clinton is bad, Donald Trump is better, the U.S. elections are in a shambles, and American democracy itself is broken. On state TV's most watched news program, the anchor called the election America's biggest scandal and featured Rudolph Giuliani with tales of vote rigging. State television is direct extension of uh, the Kremlin. Mikhail Fishman is the editor-in-chief of the Moscow Times. What does the Kremlin want to put in Russians' heads? There is no real democracy in the world. It doesn't work. Because democracy threatens President Vladimir Putin. Just look at the anti-Putin demonstrations demanding democracy in 2011 after vote-rigging allegations in Russia's parliamentary elections. And when then-Secretary of State Hillary Clinton said she had serious concerns, the Kremlin saw it as unforgivable U.S. meddling. It also blamed America for backing democratic uprisings in Russia's backyard in nearby Ukraine and Georgia. So for Putin to hear a U.S. candidate imply America's democracy is a sham is sweet revenge. We have been accused of being an authoritarian state. But as soon as there is no democracy anywhere, there is no one is to blame. Yes, yes. Today's marchers understand the Kremlin's message perfectly. And that message, Scott, is that democracy and opposition aren't worth it. So they may just as well join the crowd in supporting the president. Elizabeth Palmer by the Moscow River Forest tonight. Liz, thank you.